What am I oh, see it. Hmm? I see him where to mute out. I said I see it now. Oh, okay. So, good evening, everybody. How's everyone doing? Good. How's everyone doing in their video challenges? Day six! Yay! I like feel completely horrifying, and do you still hate me? Hmm? No, it's easier. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Elaborate Leanna, she's sucking on her necklace. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, so we're going to start tonight talking about our, <coughs> our videos. Um, what was so terrifying about the first one? Talking. <laughs> but you talk, you talk on here every week. You get on and you talk and share. And So what's different about making a video and posting it on Facebook? Well, that might have took the edge off. <laughs> okay. Leanna? Um, I would have to say because you freeze up on the actual videos and not knowing what people are going to think about what you say and if you screw up or something like that. You know, like, on here, we can see who's on here, so therefore, we're comfortable with each other. But when you throw it out there for, like, the whole world to see, it's something different. True. Okay, so does the views at the bottom, when it shows you that you had 150 people see that video, does it freak you out? Or does it make you be like, hell yeah, I'm rocking this? I'd have to see it first. <laughs> Do I? I'd have to see that first. I don't know that I've gotten 150 views on anything. You need to go back and look then, because you have. Hmm. Oh, really? Let me look. Leanna's going to check up on hers. I mean, like, y'all are getting more views than you think you are. You think that you're only having five or six people watch, um, which I wish, you know, Peyton had joined us already, because um, she's got a couple out there that have 200 and... Plus, I mean, 220 views, and <coughs> I mean, no, on all, like, several of them. <coughs> she was talking about some awesome stuff, you know, as far as, um, you know, volunteering, and, you know, what she was talking about was pretty cool. Agreed, but I don't know that she realizes that that many people pay attention, and so I really kind of wish she was uh, able to join us right now so that I could get her take on how that really uh, has affected her because um, like I said you, you don't realize the first time that I did a video and it had like 10 views and I'm like oh okay well those are you know friends and family that love me and you know they're doing this they're watching me just because and then you know the next thing I know a video had a hundred views and 120 views and I'm going where are these people coming from and who are they so you, you don't really realize it, and uh, I think that's something that, you know, it's either going to scare you off from doing video or it's going to really encourage you. So I was curious what your takes are on that. Holy <laughs> crap, Peyton's got one with 200. She's got more than one. Yeah. Mm. I guess what got me most was um, somebody that I was friends with but I'm not that familiar with that went on and made a comment. So that really surprised me more than anything that it was somebody that I really didn't really know that watched it and then commented. Okay. Do you feel um, more secure in some of your areas of life that you've now been sharing about? Mm, what I'm sharing about the next week or so is emotional. I second that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was part of my uh, healing process I was trying to get through. Okay, so... So I would means... talk again. Huh? So I would talk again. Okay, so in that, do you already feel any kind of um, freedom in being able to talk about that since that was kind of the goal and you've already made one or two videos on that topic? Do you feel, you know... More, more confident about talking about the situation, or are you still 
um, struggling so much that you feel like it will never be talked about. Mm. Um, I think it's gotten easier. Um, I guess for so long I didn't really talk to anybody. Um, you know, just kind of went on my own cocoon. And <clears throat> so the words just wouldn't even come out. So it amazes me sometimes that I actually have something that I'm saying and my mouth is moving and there's something coming out of it. <laughs> so it's kind of nice and you, for you that... Um, you're documenting that uh, you do have something to say, and it's even cooler that there are people that want to hear it. Oh, I don't know about the other part, but I was noticing today on Facebook um, there was several people that I'm friends with or know, like that's either lost somebody recently and going through some grief, or they got a loved one that's um, sick. And I don't probably because I was just. You know, like when you have a car and you buy one, you know, you see everybody doing it, you know, you feel aware of it. Mm-hmm. So you just notice more that people are dealing with grief, or maybe you realize that what you went through can help them? Because mm -hmm. that was something I learned when I did my video challenge, and I opened up on one of mine about, um, you know, I called it my dark, my dark ages, yeah. and people... <clears throat> that were in the same boat were reaching out and wanting to talk to me about it. They'd never talked about their situation and because they saw that I had experienced it, they wanted to share with me and they wanted to kind of find that mutual ground. Right. So is that what you're experiencing now? Um, I can't say that I've um, experience anybody doing that yet? Because I just put one up today, so I don't know. Okay, Leanna, what about you? <clears throat> Although it amazed me, I had a comment on it before I even finished posting everything to me. Yeah, well, you broke me down. Um, I called Alicia still halfway crying after that one. But yeah. But what what was your question? <laughs> I got caught up in this one. Um, what have you noticed doing the videos? Like, are you getting more engagement in in posts? Like, people are commenting more. Are you feeling that you can, you know, talk to anybody about anything nowadays? Or are you still like, I don't know that this is really for me. Um, the video, per se, isn't that bad. I feel like I'm being very well held accountable for these videos because I'm getting more and more people, where's your video, where's it at? Like, people I wouldn't even think, you know, like you said, that are watching these things, and they're like, where's it at? You haven't posted today's video. I'm like, geez, like, <laughs> give me a minute. I normally post mine at night, and if I don't have it posted by, like, at least 8 o'clock, they're on me, where's it at? So... I mean, it shows that how much people are really pay attention to your Facebook that you didn't know about. Because I wouldn't thought some of these people really gave a crap, you know, what you talked about. And they really pay attention to what you say. I found that out today due to they say I say anyways a lot. They pointed that out to me. So um, the videos isn't hard. That, that I can do now. It's just trying to find things to talk about, like each day, find something different. <coughs> That's my biggest struggle right now. Okay. So, <coughs> so if you knew what you were going to talk about every day, you'd feel even more confident and you'd, you'd what, make it easier? Yeah, I mean, it... If I knew what I'd be talking about, it wouldn't be that bad. I could just get on there, not even think about it, and talk about it. But when you have no clue what you're going to do it on that day. So take a day and make an outline. Huh? But then take a day and make an outline. Because for the next um, three nights of Monday, I've got written down sort of what I want to talk about. Not exactly, but I'm 
in that direction, and I think that helped. But, you know, I'm going to talk about this. I'm, of course, I'm going to post a uh, blog post that I've already written a while back about it. So it kind of gives me a sense of direct direction on what my thoughts need to be doing. Get ready to get on the video. Yeah, I definitely got to do that because I will get on there and just have like the biggest brain fart ever. Yeah, um, you know, kind of mad about what you're going to talk about. Um, tonight, so, obviously, tonight we're going to talk about the power of video, um, if you hadn't gathered that. Um, there's so many people that can make videos that will go viral talking about their products or their services or whatever it is that they have. <clears throat> and you don't realize how much influence a video can have compared to words. You know, like, yeah. you can post a, hey, look at me, hey, look at me, um, join my team, and people will see it and keep scrolling, but you can have a video and people are like, hmm, what, what, what's she talking about, what's she, what's she doing? And I've noticed a couple of the ones in my news feed lately have people doing some crazy things to get you to stop and watch, and, uh... It's um, kind of crazy because like, you'll be scrolling through and you'll see people going, hey, or holding up something so that you want to stop and see what it is that it's holding up. And um, you're more curious and because you see movement. And um, so then you're like, hmm, is this something that I'm going to find interesting? I mean, Leanna shared one with our friend Peyton. And it was this woman that was crazy. I mean, like in a good way. She was so funny. And, but you watch it. And um, that's just, uh, you know, something that she's selling a product. But in the entire essence of selling said product, she's making you laugh. She's holding your attention. And it keeps you wanting to know one, what's she going to do next, and two, you know, what is this product that, you know, and how can I get it? So that's the ultimate goal with these challenges is <clears throat> by the end of it, you'll be like, this is my product, but you'll do it in such a way that people want to pay attention to you and they want to know more. They want to see the next video. So you're... Um, your videos are, are going to be more to you than you think. They're more valuable. <coughs> so, I was, uh, that was one reason I wanted to talk about that. They're also getting to be more fun for you guys, aren't they? Well, yeah. I think they will be. Especially towards the end of the month. <laughs> towards the end? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I've got my um, my pooches are running around barking, and I kept trying to get Jason. I was like, "Can you get Opie?" <laughs> so he just. So shook we back. got mom here yeah. online now. We do have mom. She's muted so out. I'm muted. Well, we had a bunch of background noise, so she didn't turn her camera on. Does she not want us to see her? No. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Debbie. No makeup, no hair fix, no nothing. Do you, you see, see this? Like, look. <laughs> I even got a devil horn going on over here. Like, look, I got, I got wings. I don't have makeup. Okay. I don't know. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on here blowing my nose. That can't be even worse. <laughs> I mean, look, you can even see the gun in the background of mine. <laughs> well, <I'm laughs> At least it's not the whiskey bottle. Is that oh, what yeah, with nice. you? <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> so Debbie, do you want to step in on our our video challenge? Oh, I don't think so. Not this time. Not this time. No, no. Oh, goodness. They're so much fun. I get to torture these girls. 
Yeah, Alicia, where's yours at? Uh, I'm lacking. I'm lacking. <laughs> I'll admit it. <laughs> Things have been hectic around here, but we'll get them done. <laughs> I have one for you ladies that I know without a doubt that you're going to enjoy. So, how's uh, everybody's week been? Let's kind of cover that real quick, too. Been pretty good after today. Been pretty good after today. So, why is today so good? Because we figured it out about in two weeks. Okay, so let's, let's uh, talk about that. Huh? Do it, Mom. I have to admit that's exciting. Oh yeah, very exciting. <laughs> so explain to Mama kind of what this thing is, like what we're going for. Yeah, you can drag her with you. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Hey, Mama. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to go to Florida? Uh, no. <laughs> Been there, done that, remember? Well, yeah, but we're not with family this time. <laughs> yeah, okay. What are you? <laughs> we're going for educational purposes, being inspired, learning <laughs> new things. Mom? Well, so, and then the family vacation. I'm babysitting. Yeah, she'll she'll have my kids. <laughs> <laughs> so that Matthew don't pull his hair out. Oh, now surely that wouldn't be the case. That's who. That's who we need to get on a video challenge. It's Matthew. Yeah. Okay. You might regret that. You might, but it could be interesting. Yeah. No, you heard what he already calls our business. Yeah. I didn't what? Okay. <laughs> Do you really want to say that on air? Well <laughs> we say cuss words, so it ain't much worse. <laughs> um, so you know, mine and Alicia's business of the soaps and lotions is L and A Body Works. Well Matthew told us to name it L and A Hose for Hire. Oh wow. And then when <laughs> Peyton got involved. Now it's lap hose for hire because it's LAP. Oh my God. Yeah, that's what he calls our business now. Mm -mm -mm. Sounds about like Matthew. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know if we want him on a video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I will tell y'all what I've done this week. Okay. I made the jewelry for Shannon's wedding, and I will never again offer to make that many charm bracelets. Oh, that goodness. Job. I'll just show them to us. Yeah, y'all just trying to give me uncover that dang camera. We are. <laughs> but show us. Show us your uh, product. I'll it's, have something, to, it's something to be proud of. I will have to go get them. I, don't have to <laughs> I just them. like them. They are cute. Huh? So I do like them. They are cute. Uh, yeah, I finished her pearl necklace too and her earrings. Oh, I bet it's beautiful. <laughs> and you're sure you don't want to join these video challenges? I mean, uh, not right now. <laughs> okay. So we end to make one on clowns, though. So. I got a few words for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll be back. Or try Peyton's trying to get on here, and it's not wanting to let her. Oh, that's going to upset me.
Uh, trying to tell her what happened. <laughs> All right. Well, she gets if that link works for her, then she'll join us, but she won't be on our panel, which is sad because I think it would be fun to have her where we could bring her out to. She can do it on her phone like I did. Well, she's on her phone and wanting her to download the app, and she said she can't, shouldn't have room for the app. I didn't have to download an app. Um, I just clicked on the link. Well, that's what she's doing. Well, I don't know. She's got an iPhone. Mine wanted the link, too. Oh, okay. Mine wanted the app, too. So, oh, wait, okay. I do have an app. Just kidding. Oh, you do have the app? Yep. Go yeah. to meeting? Mm, no, this one's Google Hangout. Oh, then no, I don't have that. Okay. She said, I'm on it. I saw you, and then nothing. Um. Mama, what did you have to do? I'm on the computer, and I had to download something. Probably for your camera. That she's hiding from us. <laughs> well, darn. I don't know why. It's... Okay. Well, okay, let's talk more about the video, because... Um, so, I mean, if everybody were to use a video, and you were to get on there every day, because, like, Leanna, you talked about the um, needing an idea of what you're talking about every day... If you knew every single time that you got behind a camera, you were going to talk about your product, you were going to talk about, you know, results or, you know, things of that nature. If you knew that's what you were going to talk about every single time, you just had to know your products, <laughs> would you be able to do it every single time that you, even if it wasn't every day? If you made a video yeah. once a week to promote your products, do you think you could do it? Yeah, that wouldn't be a problem. I've done got comfortable with it. Okay. So, I wish I had uh, given more thought to helping y'all for the next week. I'll I'll think on it and post it in the webinar or in the group page. Mom knows what she's going to talk about roughly for the next seven days, so um, try to help you and Peyton and Christina and whoever's looking to take the challenge and and uh, sorry, um, <clears throat> Peyton was saying that she finally could see. Um, hi, Peyton. So we're going to um, work on that, or we're getting comfortable enough that we can talk about that, and I'll do um kind of a guideline of some, like, give you ideas. My favorite, just because it's who I am, my favorite videos are to see are the people that come out and they're like, so today I want to tell you what I'm grateful for. I want to tell you, you know, I love my life. I love whatever, whatever you want to talk about. But I love the gratitude type videos. Those are fun for me. Um, those are the ones that I have the most fun recording. They're the ones that I really like to watch for <clears throat> and things like that. So that's uh, that's an idea for you for tomorrow. You know, do a gratitude. You know, I'm, I'm grateful for the sunshine. I'm grateful for the fall weather. I'm grateful for my husband or my kids. Or I'm grateful for Alicia for making me do this awful challenge. Um... You know, anything. could be anything. So, I really wish we had Peyton where she could get on here and talk because that would be so much fun. Um, I want to hear how she's doing with her challenge. <coughs> um, so, let's, you know, real quick, we'll cover um, what's coming up in the next couple of weeks because we know that there's excitement coming um, a week from today, I might be running a little late, so I might have to get mom to 
jump in and help me because it'll be a week or a, after a holiday at the post office. So I might be running a little late starting, um, but we can work that out. Um, then the following week shall be very interesting because it'll be a slightly different location. So anybody want to pop on and talk about that and what they're hoping to learn in the next couple of weeks? I don't know what that was. But anyways, so I am hoping to get out of how to advertise better and how to word it better. That's part of my problem. Okay. I don't speak very proper. I type how I speak. Yeah. So I would like to get out of it as far as just learning how to advertise, how to go about it, how to get people's attention, how to draw them in without being pushy. So you want to learn attraction marketing, which is awesome because that's exactly what you'll be learning in roughly in the next few weeks. So, Mom? Hmm. I was still thinking about what Leanne was talking about. Um, I don't know. Maybe since I've gotten my Mac updated, I'm actually using my computer now. Um, I don't know if you'd be interested in learning some of the Instagram marketing I can use and it's creating some. You could use your product sources, whether like Debbie could take pictures over Joy she's making and put it on Instagram and have it link, <coughs> link to her or your Advocare products and create a page for your business. What I've seen in this course I've taken, I'm up to uh, Module 6, which I plan to be through this week, but I got sidetracked by some videos here. My internet was down for a while. But, uh, Pretty cool little platform. Okay. So maybe this week I can figure out how to do some screen share so I can show you a few things. Oh, yeah. You got your Mac back up and running. We need to. Uh, I mean, yeah, this is the first time I've done it, so I need to uh, figure that out. Okay. Um, We've got the lead pages, Alicia. We need to learn, work on that so you can share that with them. Um, how to use um, lead capture pages to get email addresses to build a list and all that. Yeah, uh, we definitely need to discuss that because everybody wants to build a list and everybody wants that vital information of an email and um, names and all that. <coughs> we also need to um, discuss the way to follow up with them because some people collect information or they make a sale so they have a contact but then they don't do anything with it. So it's just sitting there, it's idle and you have somebody that they bought from you once so odds are they'll buy from you again because they like, uh, they know, like and trust you. But if you don't do any kind of follow up with them, you don't try to do any kind of rapport to keep them, then you know, you'll, you'll ultimately lose them and you'll lose any future marketing purposes and nobody likes that. So, yes, we definitely will be talking about the lead pages and all those good things. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. And you're wanting to, and hopefully by the next week we'll have something on the Instagram is what you're saying. But now that my Mac is at, um, I don't remember which module of the course it told what she was using, like to do screen sharing with her phone, so she could actually show what she was doing using her phone to create the Instagram uh, post. Okay, like creating it live to show how to properly use Instagram to monetize. And some of the apps that she used. Okay. Made them so. Yeah, we'll uh, you and I'll get together and definitely talk about how to do screen share so that you can share that with us because I think everybody would like to share pictures and make money in the ultimate way. As our group grows, we can have contests. Or, and one of the things that I'm into this module is how to create contests so you get people engaged in what you're doing and then you offer a prize at the end. So like 
So Debbie wanted to do something with her jewelry. Maybe she'd give away a bracelet or something at the end for the most likely a page or something. And, you know, you give away a PDF or a pregnant training or something. I mean, you just come up with different things to give away to the crowds. Okay. Well, we already know that our little circle of people really dig contests and that um, we're slightly competitive. <laughs> 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 Nothing. Um, that? No, it's not a bad thing. We like it. Um, so we know that definitely a competition, I mean, even if it is Instagram, so it shouldn't be anything too difficult. It's all about learning the proper technique. That's uh, something we're going to definitely want to do. Um, <laughs> darn, I, darn, I wish that we had, or Peyton could get on here because, you know, we're getting towards the end, and I would really like to do our uh, biggest wins. And I don't know what hers are. That's going to be sad. Um, <laughs> so let's uh, start with Debbie. What's your like biggest win for this week, and what are your goals for the next seven days? My biggest win. Mhm. Mm My biggest win this week was finishing that jewelry. And my goal for the next seven days is to not think about jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody needs a break. <laughs> you have to reward yourself. <laughs> That's my break. <laughs> well, if y'all remember, she just had that fair. So huh? she worked at the fair for like five days selling jewelry too, and then she prepared for it months and months and months ahead of time. So she has dealt with it every day for a while now. Gotcha. Yeah. Don't burn yourself out. We we want you to keep with it. So, um, eeny, meeny, miny, Leanna, uh, what's your, doesn't necessarily have to be a biggest win, but what's your win for this week, and what is your goal for the next seven days, and I know you have at least one win that you're really proud of because we talked about it earlier today. So, wins. Go. One win we talked about earlier. What? Losing six pounds? I did lose six pounds. Um, that is the win. So, I was pretty happy about that. I switched out my sparks, um, quit drinking energy drinks, and started drinking those from Advocare, and I've lost six pounds just from cutting out Red Bull. So, I was pretty happy about that. Um, let's see, being comfortable doing videos, to me that's a win, uh, to finally get to where I can do those without being nervous. Um, I just gotta word things better without saying anyways or something like that, but we'll get there. Um, my goal for oh. the next... Quit uh -huh. raising your forehead when you do your videos. Quit raising my forehead? Wrinkling. <laughs> Oh, I don't realize that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my hand. <laughs> okay, I try not to smile so I don't get these crazy little crow's feet thing going on that my dad had. <laughs> like, I don't notice it for mom, but like my dad, when he'd smile, we got these big old cheeks, and so like you get these little lines right here. <laughs> so I try to be like, and. Don't laugh, because then you get these, and, like, they're crazy. So I understand, Leanna. Everybody. Yeah, y'all are going to see me, like, start doing this number. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to start wearing a hat and be like, oh, oh you're going to see my forehead. But anyway. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> so apparently I have this event on Friday with Peyton, and okay. so I'm going to get ready for that. And my goal for the next seven days is to at least, I'm going to say at least get three new customers um, just from doing that within, you know, hopefully in the next seven days or getting emails to be able to contact them and to go from there. So that, that's my goal. Okay, so you, like, didn't even talk about hitting that higher percentage goal that we had talked about, which, you know, since you and I... Oh, oh, oh. yeah, well, 80... Whatever, ADD kicks in. Um, <laughs> so, this is why you tell people beforehand so I can be like, hey, I know you hit this goal and I'm super proud of you. So share, one, what that goal was and two, you know, how it benefits you. Okay, okay, okay. So I hit my $500 goal 
um, within this pay period, which was within two weeks, well, since I started selling it. So I hit that. And so since I sold $500 worth of products, then it bumped me up to 25% um, that I receive profit, I guess you can say. And so now my ultimate goal is to go to advisor. So now I'm 2500 away from it. And once I go advisor, then you can't go back down. Like you stay at 40%. Like you make 40% off of everything that you sell. Very nice. So everybody give Leanna a big round of applause or congratulations or whatever because we all know that. Challenge. Do what, Mom? Leanna, tell us about the challenge. What is the 24-day challenge? What is it? Oh, okay. What does it consist of? <laughs> so the 24-day challenge, there's day 1 through 10 and 11 through 24. Um, day 1 through 10 is what you call the cleansing phase. And then 11 through 24, that's where you really start, you know, losing your weight. Um, so I'm pretty excited about it. It's not that hard. Like, you know, you have to take certain supplements for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it's just to help cleanse out all the bad stuff in your system. And uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail like I've been with Alicia on that one. But... <laughs> but anyways, so, um, you know, like I said, it's, it's 24 days, but as long as you stick with it, you know, there is a book. It doesn't necessarily tell you that you have to eat this, this, and this specifically. It just tells you, you know, you need to eat like a protein for lunch or like a vegetable and the same thing for dinner. It, it doesn't say, oh, you have to eat a salad every day by any means, um, but I like it. I'm, I'm excited to see my ending results. You know, just like I said earlier, I've lost six pounds just from drinking just the sparks instead of, you know, the energy drinks because the energy drinks have sugar and all that versus the sparks that have all the vitamins. It has uh, B, C, and E, and um, it has two of the B ones, B6 and B12 in it. And it, it's sugar-free, so I really like that, too. So if there's any diabetics that, that want to drink it, they're able to drink it as well due to there's no sugar. So I'm pretty excited. I can't wait to see my ending result for the, the 24 day. And, and I definitely took my before pictures and measured myself. And it's kind of funny because it really shows you how your body's weirdly proportioned. <laughs> One side's bigger than the other. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. So, Mom, you're left. I'm left. I thought um, I was right. Well, I mean, oh, well, you are right. Okay, so you're next then. Um, oh. What's your win for, you know, big, small, we like them all. Yeah. No. Your, your win I'm and your goal. Your win, I guess, is surviving some videos. <laughs> Get through the first week. And... Then learning how to uh, take those and get it on Facebook and tag on my blog post. And so for my next week, my, as far as my videos go, I um, want to make a welcome video for my fan page and a bridge link for my main products for MLSP and uh, Empower to use to uh, get to my product pages. So they know there's a real person behind those products or in front of them, whatever. I just don't know what I want to say on those bridge page videos. Okay. So I'm open to some matter. <coughs> I need to go and research a few. All right. So what is the for those that don't know, what is a bridge video or a bridge page? It is like a in between page, is the way I think of it. Um, like if you had an advertisement or something, and then somebody clicked and put their email in instead of going straight to your product, and it goes mm -hmm. to you first. So you're kind of branding yourself. People get used to seeing your face and connecting you with the product, or um, then you give them just kind of a welcome message and. You lead them to the next video, whatever it's about, the product. Okay. So that's pretty cool. 
So it's kind of a, hey, hold on, don't run away just because, you know, I'm trying to sell something. Yeah. Okay, give them a face so that, you know, or if they see the same products, they already have a face to a product kind of thing. Um, Leanna, you have a question, my dear, and it is, um, how many calories are in Spark, and how much is the 24-day challenge? Yeah, I saw. I'm looking okay. that up. <laughs> I don't know if you had seen it. Yes, I'm actually, I'm looking at it for now. Um, the 24-day challenge is 195 plus uh, shipping and taxes. There we go, that's the word. <laughs> Sorry, um, but anyways, uh, so there's there's that one. And as far as the calories go in the Sparks, it is 15 calories per serving. I will. I was so thinking 14, so I feel like that was awesome that I was so close. Yep, it's it's 15 calories per little packet, which isn't very bad. Just don't do like Alicia did and drink it at night. Yeah, not after 5 p.m. You'll be up all night thinking you're on crack or something because, like, I was just awake. I couldn't uh, go to sleep. Uh, <laughs> I'm usually up at night. Will it help me take it through the shift and then sleep when I go home? <laughs> uh, yeah, if you take it, like, I drink them now whenever I first get up in the mornings and, like, I was I had the bad habit of getting up to go to work or just getting up on Sunday and like cracking a coke and I've replaced that morning caffeinated beverage with the spark and it gets me through the day. I've lost three pounds since I gave up my last Dr. Pepper. Cool. I miss my Dr. Pepper just because I like the taste, but um I would much rather lose the weight by giving it up. So I just replace it whenever I wake up and then I have energy all day. I and mean, you don't feel weighed down. That's pretty cool. One time a day thing. I guess you could drink as many as you want, but I only need yeah, one. Yeah, no, not as many as you want. I wouldn't drink more than two a day. <laughs> you might feel like, you know, you go croak over or something being so wired up. But no, um, you can drink one in the morning, and then, like on the 24-day challenge, it tells you you can drink one for breakfast and one for lunch if you'd like. And it you mix it only within an 8-ounce bottle of water. Um, and trust me, that that's all you're gonna want to do. Well, Alicia, she drinks what twenty ounces of water with yours? Um, it's a sixteen point nine ounce bottle, and I just mix one packet in. So, you know, it's kind of like diluting it down, I guess. But and so, not only does it have like all the vitamins in it and things like that, but it also cleans out your system. I think me and Alicia can both vouch for that. You will feel like you're gonna pee your pants. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it gets you out of nowhere. Yeah. All right. So have we covered and Peyton, if you're out there, send me a message. Let me know your big wins for the week. Um, let me know what your goals are, and we'll share them. Cause you know, I can't pull you up on screen like I really want to do, and let you tell for yourself, but. We definitely would like to hear, because I know you have been kicking ass, <coughs> meeting goals and passing up levels and things in your company. Give her a second to see if I can get a response. Is she on listening? Yeah. Yeah, she's listening. She's just going through Facebook with us. Yeah. She couldn't get signed in with us, which is sad. Maybe next week. We'll get her there. If not, we'll figure it out on the way to Florida. <laughs> it ain't like we're not going to have plenty of time. That's a long drive. All right, so she's probably looking and maybe sending us a message because I can see where she's no longer viewing. So... I really want to see what uh, all her achievements are because we talked last night and she had some pretty cool stuff going on. Hey, Cindy, did you get your stuff in the mail today? No, I didn't get it today. 
Well, you should have asked me earlier. Okay. So for this week, Peyton says, I have also hit my 165-pound goal. So she's 20 pounds down since February. Woo and she got she got married in May, I believe. So that's exciting. Um, and I'm hoping to hit blue in her company, which is four thousand in sale, four thousand dollars in sales this month. And she's got a boost this weekend, so she's got some pretty kicking goals here. Four thousand sale, four thousand dollars in sales this month. That's that's awesome. Pretty, I know. I mean, she's been kicking it. She started, um, she told me last night she started two months ago, and she's already up to the third level. So she's definitely progressing within her company, um, which is fun. So uh, I'm glad she jumped out to share hers. Okay. Thoughts um, er, Yeah, everybody, everybody give yourselves a round of applause or parades or whatever you need, because any win is a great win. Big, small, we love them all. <clears throat> kind of like boobies. Ha, ha, ha. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome for that. <laughs> Mom's still staring blankly at the computer like, oh, my God. I think I'm... <laughs> I think I was distracted at the wrong minute. <laughs> you made me snort. That ain't cool. <laughs> Dude, that doesn't take much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I want to share my wins because, uh, like, they're what I was pretty excited about. So, on Sunday, I made a sale with my primary company that um, has not been the best subject in this house lately. But I made a sale there, and it was unexpected, sort of. Um, I thought it might happen, but I had no absolute confirmation. So that was a big deal because I was very quick to be like, hey, look. So <clears throat> that was exciting. I have made $75 in sales this week within one of the other companies and with... Friday approaching, I'm going to be making a rather large sale with the last company that I'm with, which has me pretty excited. So, sales all around. Yay. Everybody likes sales. Um, <laughs> my big goal for next week is, one, to survive the day after a holiday so that I can meet you ladies on time, because I don't like to be late if I can help it. Um, which tonight I was late, and I'm sorry, everyone. Um, let's see. Another big goal. I want to make a much bigger um, sale within my primary company because I think that would uh, be very crucial right about now for all things to do that. Um, and I also want to be able to share some different you know, key pointers. Uh, Mom talked about the lead pages and, you know, gathering emails and <coughs> contact information and, you know, how to go back and talk to them. You know, we want to help you with that. Um, then her, with the Instagram, you know, I'm going to say one of my goals for the next seven days is show my mom how to use screen share on her computer <laughs> so that, um, we can see what she's cooking up over there because I know she's got some good stuff going on. And I guess other than that, does anybody have any questions or need, you know, ideas for videos for the next couple of days or even for tomorrow because I'm going to try to uh, get in our Facebook group and give some ideas for those of you that might need them. So anybody, any questions, any last Words, anything you need to know? No, I'm good. No. All right. And just because we can at this moment, I want to congratulate and thank everybody for coming tonight. But I also want to give 
a huge, huge, huge shout out to Leanna and Peyton for their big decisions today and for making something that could very well change your life um, possible. And we look very, very, very forward to what is to come and introducing you to people that will be able to help you with um, reaching whatever your lifelong goals are because everybody knows that um, we make goals for the week here, but everybody's got a goal outside of what you're sharing for the next seven days that um, we ultimately want to achieve. So, because I keep watching a house <laughs> in Royal, and it's not so much the house, but the acreage, and the price has been dropping quite steadily lately, and uh, that's my one of my biggest goals is uh, securing that property and having a place for my horses with me. So everybody's got those bigger goals, so we want to uh, be achieving those. So, and I just realized I really do make funny faces all the time. Okay. Hey, at least your mama wasn't the one that pointed it out. <laughs> and I'm, well, I rather enjoy them. I like seeing those faces. <laughs> she has told me for, me for years that I'm very animated. And kind of tonight I realized just how much I get this weird eyebrow. I get these, you know, wrinkles right here. Interesting stuff. Um, guess I never really paid much attention to myself. <laughs> so. Do I? <laughs> <laughs> I realize that you make the faces you make. Um, and next week, I hope that maybe you will not hide from us with that camera and you will come out and talk to us. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, we Mom, come out and play. <laughs> <laughs> we, like to, we like to see everybody So, because I'm going to be trying to help figure out how to get Peyton where she can come on and talk and we can see her face too because she's beautiful and she needs to share her self with the world, which is why she's doing videos and she hates me. But it's fun and I like being evil. And um, she's going to come out of that little shyness shell that she was living in. So, anyways, I guess if nobody has anything else they want to throw out there, then we will uh, call it good and everybody remember that video will sell your products faster in a written ad. So, Mom, Leanna, anybody? Debbie? No. No. Yeah, I'm watching Mike a video um, showing your sparks or whatever in a drink. Just showing it. We okay. Drinking every morning and talk about it. Yeah. You know, just use your products and talk about it. Talk about the flavors, how much it costs, <laughs> what's in it, whatever. Like when you're wake up and you're shaking up your bottle and you're like, you go to work, got the baby on the hip, and you're gonna drink your sparks. <laughs> <laughs> People can relate. Be like, I just need a little spark in my life because I need some energy. I got this baby. <laughs> hey, Rita uses uh, her babies all the time Ooh. in her videos. She does. And she's stuck on uh and uh yeah that. <laughs> I I she does make some that surprise the crap out of me that they get as many views because I mean nothing bad. I'm just she's comical. I mean, but those are the videos that people like. Yeah. So, I mean, she's out there doing it and she's killing it. I mean, girls made like a hundred and sixty, hundred and seventy thousand dollars in the last. 18 months. So, I mean, she's doing good things. So, I'm not one to do any hating on her. I mean, makes me think I need kids so that I can be like, so these are my kids and they're playing. Yeah, so much she can use hers. She's got babies. She does have babies. Yeah, my baby. She's got cute little kids. So. My why? <laughs> this is why I do what I do. My why? Well, surprised. Usually the cat's right here. Um, <laughs> I got Dixie in the floor and the cat's somewhere on the prowl. So, but... The evil little cat. <laughs> she's mean. <laughs> but I have to give, since we're talking about my kids, I gotta give um, Jason 
and Garcia major credit because they gave both of the dogs a bath tonight, and that's not easy. So, um, anyways, so have a great night, everybody. Thanks for joining us, and um, yeah, so we'll talk next week and back here at 7. Go kick ass and get those wins, guys. All right. All right. We'll see y'all later. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.